Tonight is a great opportunity to remember Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki, who became a hero of at least four nations. Uh, he's also one of the few foreigners to be knighted by the Queen. His actions are marked by exceptional modesty, knowledge, sensitivity to the human kind and condition, combined with great personal wisdom, have not only shaped the form of maps, but what is more important, have imprinted themselves on the map of human lives. First of all, there's his work in the exploration of Australia, particularly the Snowy Mountains, whose highest peak uh, Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki named after his uh, fellow man, a hero of the Polish Revolution, uh, that is uh, Tadeusz Kościuszko. Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki uh, also contributed to uh, the research into uh, numerous uh, areas in uh, New South Wales. Um, here we can see the placard describing his work as a geologist and doing mineralogy and chemical analysis in New South Wales, contributing to the development of the region following the discovery of coal there. You must know that it was a, a very important resource at the time, uh, especially for metallurgy and for the development of uh, industries. During his exploration, Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki not only uh, named the high highest uh, peak of Australia by the, by the, the name of uh, Tadeusz Kościuszko, but he also um, performed geological and mineralogical analysis of uh, the mountains, the snowy mountains and the uh, mountain ranges of Tasmania. As the first person he identified uh, that these two mountain ranges were related and that uh, they uh, were in fact at one time one single uh, continent. His uh, geological work and his map mapping work made him uh, mark landmarks upon Australia's map. Uh, his achievements were uh, so great that uh, following his uh, hard work uh, uh, he was uh, Mount Kościuszko uh, where uh, a plaque holding his name and the history of discover his discovery still remain. It must be stated that uh, Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki is not a hero of the past. He is uh, also a hero of the modern day. Uh, over here you can see uh, a play dedicated to Sir, Sir Paul um, as uh, his achievements have been uh, registered both in a book and a play uh, depicting his, his work. It must be stated that the man was uh, of uh, great uh, sensitivity. Not only was he a hero uh, of uh, Australia, thanks to his geological work, but uh, he is also worth remembering uh, due to his work uh, in Ireland. Uh, when the potato famine struck Ireland, uh, Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki was uh, one of the first people who volunteered to, to um, reach out and uh, attempt to solve the issue. He, his accounts of uh, the famine uh, sent to British newspapers um, became a, a voice of conscience of the civilized world. Um, and thanks to the respect he had won through his hard work, in fact, his health was also affected during these uh, hard times of the famine. He is still remembered in numerous places in, in, in Ireland, including the places that, uh, where he worked the most. County Sligo, County Mayo, and in gratitude uh, he has his plaque in, in Dublin. 
the third uh, group of people whom he, he helped during his lifetime uh, was were the soldiers of uh, the Crimean War. In this case, he cooperated with uh, a woman who is renowned as the founder of the nursing profession, uh, Florence Nightingale. Uh, and uh, together he, with her, he uh, worked extremely hard to uh, improve the conditions of the military hospitals uh, or in the Crimean War. It is uh, also a privilege to say that he is a man who started his adventures just south of Poznan in a little village called Gushina, uh, which is now actually now part of Poznan, and he has found his final resting place also here in the uh, crypt of the renowned in St. Adalbert's Church in Poznan. Uh, today, the 6th of October, we celebrate an anniversary of his uh, death. But finally he found his resting place in uh, the crypt in St. Adalbert's church. A person worth remembering.